National Pickle Day is on November 14th, and it was created to celebrate the pickle as one of the world's favorite fermented foods. Pickles prove to be popular with people across the country. The number of pickle eaters is projected to be more than 250 million. That gives plenty of pretext to position November 14th as prime pickle time. The practice of pickling has existed for thousands of years. The process ensured a degree of preservation otherwise impossible in pre-modern conditions and was essential in providing a mobile supply of provisions for travelers as well as dependable source of nutrition for those living through barren winters. While a diverse set of foods can be pickled, the cucumber emerges as the dominant food that most associate with the ideal of both pickling and the word pickle itself. Archaeologists believe that the first evidence of pickled cucumbers originates from Tigris River Valley civilization. And nutritional benefits of the food will go on to be lauded by such historical figures as Cleopatra and Julius Caesar. With all their popularity in the old world, pickles would not make their appearance in North America until 1492. As you may have guessed by the year, the one responsible for their introduction was none other than Christopher Columbus. Pickles were included in sailors' rations on his expeditions as a means by which to prevent the onset of scurvy. Scurvy is a disease caused by a severe deficiency in vitamin C, which is essential for many bodily functions. Survey was once common among sailors on long voyages because they didn't have access to fresh fruits and vegetables. Today, it's more likely to affect the elderly and malnourished and may be associated with alcoholism, poor diet, or low socioeconomic status. Treatment. Scurvy is easily treated with vitamin C supplements and fresh fruits and vegetables. Most people feel better within 48 hours and are cured within two weeks. By the mid-17th century, cucumbers bought from Dutch settlers farming in the New York area were pickled and distributed throughout the region. This would lay the foundations for the territory to be the perfect site for the introduction of the kosher deal. A large number of Eastern European Jews immigrated to the United States and settled in the New York City area. They bought with them the unique methods that produce kosher dill pickles, and these early iterations of pickles would develop into the now famous and ever familiar food available in grocery stores throughout the United States. More than 67% of all households eat pickles. American households in particular purchase pickles every 53 days. Americans consume more than nine pounds of pickles per person annually. To give context, the average pickle weighs about 0.8 pounds. 100,000 to 125,000 American acres are specifically devoted to growing pickling cucumbers and they're grown in more than 30 states. Frequently asked questions, what is the pickle capital of the world? It's up for debate. St. Charles, Illinois, the original home of the pickle-centric marketing company, Pickle Packers International, held the title for more than four decades. However, the organization has since relocated to Washington, D.C., leaving this particular question open. What state makes the most pickles? Michigan grows the most pickles. National Pickle Day activities. Got an appetite for pickles? Test your limits and see if you can break the world record for pickle consumption. The current holder of this throne gobbled up more than five and a half pounds of pickles in six minutes. Good luck. Envision your own variety. Just because the technique has been around for thousands of years doesn't mean that it's been perfected, right? There are limitless possibilities as to how you can go about making pickles. Maybe it's time for you to concoct your own formula and show the world what you and your pickles are made of. Try them all. If you don't want to stuff yourself silly with a peck of pickles and you're not inclined to brine your own cucumbers, consider sampling different kinds of pickles to discover which style is your favorite. From bread and butter to sweet to classic kosher dill, there are plenty of ways to enjoy this salty snack. Pickles are versatile. Although many choose to eat them on their own, pickles can be enjoyed fried, in a sandwich, in a dip, in a salad, among other ways. Pickles aid athletes. Some may pucker at the idea of it, but drinking pickle juice can help athletes reduce the likelihood of experiencing cramps after intense exercise. Pickles fermented in non-vinegar brine solutions carry with them probiotic microorganisms that provide a whole host of health benefits.